The following is an unscripted war game carried out by highly trained military operators. Attempting these actions without proper safety supervision and training could result in severe injury or death. One elite soldier. Right now, these guys are making a delivery of these weapons. Stay right there. Stay right, right there. On a covert mission. I am sending photos of the nav charge. Whiskey, it looks like the target's on American soil. Let's move. Against a highly trained opposition force. Early warning activations have been tripped in pursuit of Tango. In a test of military skills and tactics. Moving, he's moving. Will he succeed? Few have ever known the heart-stopping intensity of sighting down the barrel of an M4 on a covert military operation. Now, see it through the eyes of Spec Ops veteran Will Willis as he competes against combat-hardened opposition in the harshest environments. With 15 years experience as an operator, he'll need it all to complete his special ops mission. Willis is beginning a 12-hour simulated mission against a band of pirates in a foreign port. Whiskey, whiskey, this is Command Central. Prepare for mission brief, over. Roger that, Command Central, the whiskey, whiskey, go ahead. Will is monitored and guided on the mission by Marine Master Sergeant Tom Minder, who follows his progress from inside a remote command center. Whiskey, a band of heavily armed mercenaries has hijacked a U.S. merchant marine ship and killed the crew. They've also abducted two nuclear scientists, and we believe they purchased nuclear material and artillery shells on the black market. Break? They may be using the scientists to create dirty artillery shells that they can fire from the deck guns. Your mission is to board that ship and stop those pirates. Neutralize the deck guns and disable the ship. Recon their nav charts and find out what their intended target is. Finally, rescue the scientists. Good luck, Whiskey. Roger that. Whiskey, Whiskey out. Let's go. On this mission, Will Willis faces a formidable opposing force. The Op 4 represent over 30 years of combined combat experience. Chris Withrow, eight years in the Navy SEALs, and now a SWAT team trainer. As a pirate, I can do anything I want to do. I've cleared ships before. I know what typical tactics are to come aboard a ship and take it over to move through a ship. Gen X, 12-year Army veteran, airborne ops, convoy security in Iraq. There are no rules of engagement. We will shoot to kill. Set one foot on our ship, you're dead. Carlos Moreno, four-year Marine veteran, base security in Iraq. When you're a pirate, you can do whatever the you want. It's, it's your birthday. It's your birthday, and I'm going to have a lot of cake. Stefan Johnson, Marine combat veteran, wounded in Operation Iraqi Freedom. If it's a matter of life and death, I'll shoot my own mom. It's not a matter about who you love when it comes down, it's either me or it's you. Both sides are armed with military-issue assault weapons, M4s and M16s. They're loaded with simunition, a non-lethal alternative to live ammunition that leaves a visible mark on impact. Please! Available only to military and elite law enforcement, Simunition is the closest thing to the real deal. Eye protection must be worn at all times. And in normal training exercises, total head protection is also required. In this conflict, one strike to the torso is a kill shot. So what I've got here is this rapid diver system. This is going to allow me to swim into my target underwater. The Zodiac's gonna drop me off as close as possible. Gonna use this thing, scuba in, anchor it underneath the boat. If I need it for exfil, I can jump in the water, use it to get out of there. I've got my weapon mounted camera right here. It's in a protective covering. It looks back at me, can look at me. I can also turn it out and it sees what I see. It's got an eight point sighting system, one of my favorites, collapsible buttstock, all right, 30 round magazine, firing some munitions. Um, they hurt like hell, but 
I'm not getting shot today. I hope. <laughs> the Op Force pirate ship is heavily armed with deck guns fore and aft. It can launch shells over 10 miles. The captured scientists are being held below decks in the machine room. The Op 4 have designed their defense strategy around an anticipated rescue attempt. I'm expecting a force at least twice the size of the group that I have to um, uh, access the ship somewhere, either at the bow or the stern. Probably be their main objective is to secure the scientists, which will uh, we'll funnel them into a kind of ambush. By closing off as many routes through the ship as possible, Chris intends to funnel the enemy to force them to take the only route available through the engine room to the ambush point. But Chris is anticipating a large attack force. He doesn't know that his enemy is a lone operator. This tactical error could help Will, but he'll still have to overcome the Op 4 defenses. Carlos and Stefan rig early warning trip grenades on key stairwells and on the bridge. Chris then orders the team to prepare the lower decks for an enemy boarding. Give you warn to all Op 4, every hatch that you come across that is open, secure it, just close it. Roger, um, what I'm doing with the one down here is I'm putting some noise devices on them. So that when the door opens, I can hear something fall and crash so I know someone's coming to the door. I'll probably do the same with those up there, over. Hey, if you can't lock it, you gotta MacGyver it, right? All right. We want to funnel them where we want them. We want there to be a kill zone so that they only have so many avenues of approach. So right now, we're closing off these doors so that the, literally the only way they can get here is through the engine room and into the lab. All right, so my objective is right over here. I'm going to approach this underwater using my scuba gear. I'm going to use these pilings to hide me as much as I can, get a little bit closer to the objective. This boat is way obvious out here. Just gonna wait for things to get a little bit darker. As night falls, Carlos and Stefan patrol from the crow's nest, the highest point on the ship. Skinny two and three, I need you to do a complete deck sweep, check all of our assets, check all of the early warning devices. Copy? Tim, four, that's a firm en route. Just make sure we're tight, nothing gets through. I'm gonna head down those stairs. I'm gonna stay in your line of sight. You just cover my six. Check. Break. As Stefan provides cover, Carlos begins his patrol of the rear deck. Looks like it's about that time. Let's do this. Meanwhile, just a few hundred yards away, Will decides it's finally dark enough to begin the risky infill. to the deck. Uh, the mooring lines were like 90 feet long. Somebody seemed to be climbing on them. So uh, hopefully this works. I got my 9 millimeter with me. And uh, that's what I'm going to use to defend myself when I get to the top. And um, if I uh, run into any bad guys, my scuba gear will be down here. Jump back down and um, swim away. Let's make it happen. Check it out. In addition to Will's rifle cam, the ship has been outfitted with surveillance cameras that will be able to follow Will's movements as he attempts to complete his mission. I've got all my gear, my explosives, and my long gun in this waterproof pack on the end of this rope. I've got to pull it up fast before somebody sees me. This ship's pretty lit up, so I crawled into this little little space, trying to give myself a little bit of cover. This is the only thing I have on me right now is my 9mm. I'm going to get my 
the long gun into action as soon as possible. As Will preps his gear on the port side near the bow, Carlos is completing his patrol of the rear deck. Ski one, ski three. Half guns are secure. Moving forward. Carlos begins sweeping the port side, moving toward the bow and toward Will's hiding spot. But Will is carrying a second pair of eyes. Okay, here is a uh, body ca uh, camera. It's just two wheels. Now the nice thing about this is that uh, I can just throw this out there or into a room, hallway, whatever, and then uh, control it from my remote and, uh, and take a look around at things. Let's drive around and see what we can see. Hope they won't see it, but they're a lot less likely to see this thing. My ass one across the deck. What my robot friend is telling me is that it's pretty clear up to a certain point. So let's move. I'm just gonna move up here. I'm gonna grab his little ass and keep going. There he is. Come on. The path is clear. Will heads toward his first objective, the forward deck gun. This place is nice and dark up here at the bow. That's where I'm stashing my pack. Dark spot right there. Skinny one, skinny three. I'll clear so far, continuing forward. First things first, it's my first objective, deck gun. Let's get it. Totally see this one filament line stretching from there all the way across. So they booby trapped this gun. As Will approaches the front gun, Carlos reaches Will's infill point and discovers some suspicious signs. Skinny one, this is skinny three. Skinny one, go ahead. I got water on the deck. Skinny one, I copy. Investigate the water. 10-4, that's a firm. Oh, there's a back guy right there. Check this out, check this out. <sighs> skinny one to skinny three. Have you found anything? Skinny three to skinny one. All clear so far. Skinny one, I need you up on the bridge as soon as possible. We need overwatch for a shipment we're receiving. Jeff, Looks like he's taken off. All right. The up four don't know how close they just came to ending Will's mission. They remain unaware that they're facing only one operator and keep their defenses focused on repelling a large invasion force. All right, that's my first objective. Deck gun. Let's get it. sensor so if anyone touches this thing boom and uh, it's a remote detonated charge and I'll be able to uh, set that off whenever I set this whole thing to go to go up and set off this whole little party while will finishes setting the charge at the bow Carlos rejoins Stefan up on the crow's nest down below Chris and Jen prep the scientists to receive the delivery of nuclear material both of you on your feet, right face. Chris orders the scientists upstairs to the deck to receive the barrels. Yourself up the stairwells, any funny motions, I will shoot you. Do you understand me? Yes. Move. And make sure you announce when you come down so I know it's you. Jen stays below, securing the area around the machine room. Any longer than I have to be on top, anyway. Keep it quiet and make my way down there. All right. 
Will knows he can move more stealthily inside the ship than he can on a brightly lit deck. Central, this is Whiskey Whiskey. Reading you, Whiskey. Send your status. Operations report follows. I have set the charge on the forward gun. There is a charge on the forward gun. How copy? Good copy, Whiskey. Getting intel on the target that the pirates plan on hitting has priority. We need to see those maps ASAP. Locate and transmit photos of the maps before you place any additional charges. Over. Whiskey Whiskey out. Grab a barrel. Scientist two, you're gonna help guide him down. Pick it up. Go. Back down to the lab. Skinny one to opt for up on the bridge. Keep an eye on the load on the right hand side of the ship. Step four. Get a move on. Get to work. While the scientists remove the sealed canisters of radioactive material from the barrels, Chris and Jen patrol the area around the machine room. These canisters will be the payload for the dirty artillery shells. Meanwhile, Will has no idea how close he actually is to the scientists. He continues to look for a way out of the tack room tries to open a hatch. These things. These handles are not quiet. And again, nothing on this rusty old ship is. I'm hearing uh, attempts at the hatch. I'm hearing attempts at the hatch right now. tight right now I can't be I can't go chasing after them it's no win situation for me so our only hope is to suck them in uh, so far the plan is working they've tried breaching that hatch and I think that was probably one of the weaker doors with the noise from the door making things too dangerous will decides he has to risk heading back up to the deck his key objective is to photograph the maps to do that he'll need to get to the bridge reaches the top of the shaft and exits onto the deck. The deck is the last place that I want to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my robot, my little buddy. There he is right there. And the nice thing about this guy is uh, I can just toss him. He can come right down the stairs. It's cool. The OP-4 aren't using night vision, so they can't see the robot's infrared illuminator. Okay, it looks like there are a couple of OP-4 up there on the crow's nest. I'm kind of in their blind spot. I think if I slink down behind cover, I can work over a midship without being seen, if I'm lucky. 
Will heads aft and makes his way to midship. To get photos of the navigational charts, he'll need to sneak onto the bridge undetected. All right, looking, hey, crawling up to the next level over the railing. It's kind of a blind spot for these guys, and I want to avoid moving around on traditional pathways. So let's see how this works out. Yeah, See if I can defuse it. Here. Oh, pinch. Okay, now. The pin is out, and Will must react fast. Set up the trip right there. All right, you go, you cover, I cover you. Right. Early warning activations have been tripped in pursuit of Tango. Sounds like that grenade went off down below. Let's go. While Will is on the bridge, the Op 4 follow the sound of the grenade, heading right past him down to the deck. Fearing more than one operative is nearby, they move cautiously. The deception buys Will the precious moments he needs to get a look at the maps. Skinny one, go ahead. Trip wires on stairwell are still in place. Must have been the one on the bridge we heard go off. We're gonna go secure the bridge. Take some photos real quick. Looks like these guys have plans on hitting a target in the US. Finding the door open and the grenade missing, the Op 4 knows someone has been there. That is inside. He's down for the engine compartment. We gotta go out that way, hit down to the third deck. We gotta go hard and we gotta go fast. All right? Watch my back, cover my six. I'm gonna hit it hard inside. Ready? Got your back. Carlos and Stefan believe the intruder is headed below decks to the engine room. They head out the side with the hope of flanking him, but it's a critical error. Will remains on deck, hidden in the quarters below the nav room. until we break our way towards the engine bay. Copy, and once you get to the engine compartment, start securing hatches around you. Copy. So now we're trying to break our way down, try to find out if we can squeeze them into the middle. safe a spot as any to send those maps to command. Command center, command center, this is Whiskey Whiskey. Be advised, I am sending photos of the nav charts from the ship. How got be? Roger, Whiskey, we are receiving them now. Whiskey, it looks like a terrorist plan on hitting targets on American soil. You need to set those remaining two charges and disable that ship before they can fire their weapons. Over. Roger that, Whiskey Whiskey copies all. Whiskey Whiskey out. and find those scientists. Having lost Will's trail, Carlos and Stefan return to the Op 4 team and report what they've seen. How many do we have? How many do we have? 
We only had eyes on one. Only eyes on one? That's it. I'm starting to think we're only dealing with one or two operatives here. Okay, listen up. We have another shipment coming in, so we're gonna go topside. The Op 4 are receiving a scheduled delivery of ammunition. They decide to use this opportunity to set a trap. I can guarantee you they are not thinking that one of us is a female. I can guarantee it. Right now, me and Nona, the other guys, are going to go and um, pretend that we are the scientists. And they're going to go up on deck with a box containing their weapons. Hopefully, they'll be seen by our opponents. They're going to take the opportunity to rescue two scientists. Um, when they do, they're going to be engaged, and the two undercovers are going to take care of business. The Op 4 move out. Behind them, Chris and Stefan move into position. I think I hear those guys running the crane. Let's go take a look. Will finds a hiding spot where he can observe the activity. See any weapons? What to do? What to do? Could be rescue time. I don't see any op for escort. I mean, they should be escorted, right? I don't know. Doesn't seem right. Could be an ambush. I think we're just gonna let them go. See what happens. Probably taking him down into this, into this engine room here. I've definitely got some people moving materials. The decoy was a good tactic, but Will's instincts foiled the plan. They didn't fall for the, the scientist trick. So they probably noticed the body language, you know, not the fear type, but the strong. Um, body language, the way they walk, the way they carry themselves. So they probably pick, figure that out real quick. Get to work. Start doing what you need to do. Can start constructing the device right now. The scientists begin the final assembly, taking the radioactive material and inserting it into the shells. Chris and Jen stay back to guard the scientists, while Carlos and Stefan move out to conduct a deck sweep. They head up toward the deck and move toward the aft exit. But Will is on the upper deck, just above them. How much my six, okay? On three. Here, somebody. There they are. Go, go, go. Will has two op four exposed and on the run. He may never have a better chance. He closes in for the kill but he's on the other side of the ship and can't get a clear shot. D-2-3 taking fire. Shots fired. Okay, where is fire coming from? Tango. Tango's on the bridge. What you see, what you see? I didn't see. I'm gonna go up and get a bird's eye on the Tango. Go, I'll cover. Carlos climbs to the upper deck to take the high ground. Stefan holds his position, but Will is working his way around the stern. With Stefan down and no line of sight to Will, Carlos takes cover on the upper deck. Take your hands off the weapon. You're down. You're down. You got it? I have no idea where that second guy went. I think he might have just bugged out. I don't know. 
just gonna move up these stairs to a higher position. Maybe I can spot him. I swear to God, I don't know how I missed. I don't know how he missed. Lost my calm. Got to reestablish contact with my team. I probably shot 30 freaking rounds between my pistol and my rifle. I didn't hit the guy one time. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. He bugged out. I have no idea. Now pretty much guarantee you he's going to get his compadres. So it's about time for me to place these last two charges, find those scientists, get the hell out of here. Skinny one, skinny two and three, come in over. Skinny one to skinny two and three, come in over. Without his radio, Carlos is cut off. He works his way toward the others cautiously. He has no idea where the enemy is or if the rest of his team has been hit as well. Skinny, two and three, come in, over. In the engine room, the scientists have completed their work and are packing up the ammo cases. Skinny four, come here. We gotta assume Skinny two and three are dead. We don't have the manpower to sit here and babysit them any more tonight. What do you want to do? I'm gonna take care of them right now. Go get their attention. Skinny two and three, come in, over. Hey, keep working on that. Make sure it's sealed shut. Double check it. Hey, you two. Stand up. We need to get out of here right now. I've had enough of this waiting around. We're going to go up top and track these guys down. Hunting for the Op 4 cost Will valuable time. And it cost the scientists their lives. All right, place another charge on the aft deck gun. I'm pretty sure that this is the loading mechanism. So what I'm gonna do here, place my charge, red blinking light, that goes boom. Guns don't work anymore. All right, all right, let's keep moving. Oh yeah, check this out. Pretty sure that that goes all the way down to the rear bulkhead. Will has one last charge to place. He heads down the rear ladder to the ship's propeller shaft. This is the longest ladder of all time. Okay. I've got this monstrosity. I've been carrying it around and I'm putting it back right next to this housing for the drive shaft. It'll blow out the bulkhead and uh, water will come in, the drive shaft will break. And uh, bad day for the back end. Alright. Still gotta find some scientists. Will follows the propeller shaft toward midship and the area where earlier he had seen the scientists carrying the weapons crates. Okay, okay. Carlos, what happened? 
dead what happened. We are hit. Stefan's down. All right, we're going topside. We're going on a hunt. We're ending this now. Let's go. One at a time. As the op four begin heading up the shaft toward the deck, Will reaches the engine room. This is the scariest room ever. I mean, there are just pipes going everywhere. I feel like any second, somebody's gonna pop out, light my ass up. Deciding that the intruder is likely a lone operator, the Op 4 change from a defensive to an assault strategy. They use the shaft to maintain the element of surprise as they begin their hunt. As the Op 4 exit the shaft, Will reaches the machine room. Central, Command Central, this is Whiskey, Whiskey, over. Go ahead, Whiskey. Command Central, be advised. Our pirates have killed both of our captured scientists. Uh, they are KIA. Unfortunately, I was too late to save them. Will has failed an important part of his mission. All right, Whiskey, time is critical. You need to make your exfil as quickly as possible so we can blow that ship. That really sucks. All right. <laughs> moved a little bit faster, those guys might still be alive. <sighs> Will heads for the same shaft the Op 4 used just minutes ago. Meanwhile, up on deck, the Op 4 begin their hunt. Okay. Let's move. are still here. Let's button this up. Head out. We're up. Let's go. Will heads forward toward his exfil point. The Op 4 leave the bridge and head down to the deck to begin their sweep toward the bow. Sweep forward toward Will's position. I'm uh, about to get the out of here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. As the Op 4 close in, Will makes a dash for the fire line. Come this way. Hey, 
Hey, Carlo, head to the rack. Flank him, flank him, move, move. He's down the stairs, he's down the stairs. Coffee whiskey, go ahead. Infiltrate pirated merchant vessel. Mission completed. Break. Place charges. Mission completed. Break. Recon nav charge. Mission completed. Break. Copy all. Continue. Command Central, be advised. I am arming the charges now. Roger. Let's take out that ship. Detonate in three, two, one. Reading detonations, Whiskey. Good work. Good work, Whiskey. Roger that. Whiskey. 